Hallo, in meinen Englischkursen gibt es immer viele neue Wörter und die Teilnehmer fragen mir immer, wie können wir alle diese neuen Wörter erinnern oder wie können wir alle diese neuen Wörter lernen. So, this video will talk about the top three tips to remember vocabulary. So there will be this video and there will be a second video. So you have to watch the two videos and then at the end I will give you some links to two more videos that you can watch which talk about this and the videos that I saw and I got the ideas from. So, the first thing is an acronym. So, you can make an acronym which is basically a word or a name using the first letter of the words that you want to remember. So, this week in class we were trying to remember these 11 words and these 11 words came from a newspaper article. So, to be fed up is when you're tired and you've had enough. The umpteenth is like when you've done something many, many times. It's the umpteenth time. Snobs are people who think that they're better than you, who maybe look down at you. To concoct a plan is to put together or to make a plan. To opt for something is to decide, to choose something. Propaganda is information, it's usually political, political information which is trying to sell a political idea, that's propaganda. Like-minded means similar, so a like-minded person is a person similar to you or who shares the same ideas as you. To team up is to form a team with another person. A take on something is an interpretation on something. So a take on a piece of art is an interpretation of that piece of art. Tasting is where you go somewhere and you try different wines, for example, or you try different cheeses, that is a tasting. And the br a brainchild or the brainchild of something is the original, the origin of that idea. So if you say this person had the brainchild or is the brainchild of, that means the idea originated with that person. So these were the 11 words that in my classes we were trying to remember or my students were trying to remember. So we took the first letter of each word And with those letters, we try to make a word, which is that's called an acronym. Now, it might happen to you that when you're doing this, it's very hard to come up with one word. But it's possible to come up with like two words or three words. And quite a handy, easy way to do it is to think of a name. So, with these letters, we came up with the name Scott T.P. Bolt. And basically the idea here is that you just, you try to remember the name Scott T.P. Bolt. Scott T.P. Bolt. And then, you know, when you're revising this vocabulary, you write down the name Scott T.P. Bolt. And then you see, can you, you know, you might need a few, you need five or ten minutes to try to put these words into your head. And then to use the name to try to remember them or recall them. So, for example, Scott T.P. Bolt, for these words here, you would basically look at that and think, okay, S is for snobs, C is for concoct, O is for opt for, T is for to be fed up, T is for take, and then you would like spend some time trying to put that into your memory. S is for snob, C is for concoct, Scott. The next letter is O, O is for opt for, T is for to be fed up, T is for take, and then when you have that you go to the next part, TP, which is team up and propaganda. So you would say TP, okay, T is for team up, P is for propaganda, you know, go back to the start and, and do it again, S is for snob, C is for concoct, O is for opt for, T is for to be fed up, T is for take, Scott, TP, T is for team up, P is for propaganda, 
you know, so you spend some time and when you've got those, then you go on to the next part, bolt. B is for brainchild, U is for umpteenth, L is for like-minded, T is for tasting, so B is for brainchild, U is for umpteenth, L is for like-minded, T is for tastings. So you know, you spend five or ten minutes trying to put that vocabulary into your memory and then using the name, practicing all the time with the name that you've created so that, you know, to the next day or a few days later you, you would write down the name Scott T.P. Bolt and you know that each letter is one of the words and then you start wherever, you think, ah, C is, is concoct, O is opt for so you write out those words and if you do that a few times you'll see but this is a very, very useful way to remember a lot of vocabulary. Another way to do this, which for some people is easier, is you basically come up with a sentence or an, an acrostic, which is a sentence or a poem where the first letter of each word in your sentence or each word in your poem represents the word that you want to remember. So if I came up with a sentence for this, it could be, some clients offer team tasting to purchasers, but usually late testings. So you make a sentence, you spend some time trying to remember the sentence, trying to learn that sentence, and then you know that each word in that sentence, the first letter of each word, is a letter of a word that you want to remember. So I'm going to write that sentence here. So you spend some time trying to learn the sentence, some clients offer team tastings, some clients offer team tastings, some clients offer team tastings to purchasers, some clients offer team tastings to purchasers, but usually late tastings. Some clients offer team tastings to purchasers, but usually late purchasers. And then you know that when you've learned the sentence, so you have to learn that sentence, each letter the first letter of each word is a word that you want to remember. So it's some clients offer team taste or some clients offer team tastings to purchasers, some S. So you write out the sentence and then you have the letters. And then you know that each letter is a word that you're trying to remember. And then you look at these and say, okay, so this is snobs, concoct, opt for, to be fed up take, take um, for example this one was tastings, propaganda, brainchild, umpteenth, um, like-minded. So you know it might take you again 10 minutes or so or 10-15 minutes to you know come up with the sentence and then put that into your memory but what you will find is that if you do that and then go back to it the next day or the next week and remember the name Scott T.P. Bolt, or if you remember the sentence through this technique of writing an acrostic, then you should be able to remember those words. So it's not something that you can do with all vocabulary, but it's something that you can, you can do every now and again to try and remember new words. So they are the first two tips that I want to tell you about remembering vocabulary. Watch the next video and I will tell you the third tip, which is really from, it's my favorite tip. It's a really cool tip. So watch the second video. If you want to see more video tips like this, just click on these videos here. Here are some examples before I tell you the explanation. Have a look at them and see, can you tell me the differences in the meaning of these words? So, mayor or mayor. So here we have six business English abbreviations, quite typical ones, which of those do you understand? And in these five sentences you have one mistake in every sentence.